Hi, once again, this is Brother Teacher. Uh, Happy New Year, 2019. This is the 1st of January, 2019. And uh, I'm hopeful that everyone survived the new year coming in. With that said, I want to start this first video of the year off uh, with a familiar subject that I've talked about in time past uh, concerning the dangers of aluminum. I stated this before, I'm going to say it again and probably just simply in a different manner, but it is necessary just the same. And aluminum is the most abundant metal according to researchers and scientists and so forth on planet Earth. Aluminum is everywhere. It is uh, in the air, it's in the earth, it's in our water, it's in our food product, but it doesn't need to be in us. We don't need aluminum in the human body. And it's very difficult for the human body to get rid of aluminum once it's absorbed and inhaled and ingested. So we must help our own bodies out. So let me say this, aluminum is a neurotoxin. It causes a plethora of conditions and diseases in the human body. Alzheimer's is caused by aluminum amongst other things but these are the things that aluminum can contribute to. Uh, contracting that so-called disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, attention uh, deficit disorder because as I said before it is a neurotoxin it lodges in the brain, in the brain tissue, the brain cells, in the liver, in the kidneys, causing all kinds of havoc in the human body. And again, it does not belong there. It causes also chronic fatigue and neurological conditions, a uh, host of neurological conditions. So what should we do? I've said this before even though it's commonplace stop cooking with aluminum this is something that we all can do and should do I know traditionally we used it ever since we were little children we saw our grandparents our parents use aluminum to cook baked potatoes to cook on the grill to bake things in the oven and so on but it is not healthy aluminum once it is heated up in a TV dinner or in some some type of aluminum pan where you have food once it's heated up the aluminum ions break down and they become part of your meal and guess what you will be consuming aluminum you just don't see it but it's there and over a period of time it builds up in our bodies so we must detox this chemical slash metal from our bodies so first of all how do we avoid aluminum foil stop buying it stop using it to include aluminum pots pans and foil so what you do you replace all of these things as cumbersome as it may be replace them with earthenware stainless steel and glass Tupperware types of products instead and you will be just fine you'll be healthy and so will your family and you will also be relieved okay that's number one you heard me say that so now how do you remove aluminum that's already in your body? I'm glad you asked. There are certain things that we can consume that will help rid uh, us of aluminum. It will bind aluminum to it and it will remove it from your body. Onions. Incorporate this in your, in your diet. Fresh onions. Forget the peels. But forget the powders. I'm talking about real onions. So pull your, pull your big boy pants up. And big girl pants up and just follow the regimen okay the protocol keep onions in your diet on a regular basis 
garlic, chlorella, which is green, that helps as well. And bentonite clay, you want to use that. These items that I just mentioned to you will help pull the aluminum out of your body's tissues and discard it from your body. If you have any further questions as it relates to this, please leave it in the comment section below. And another thing that you want to avoid before I depart is aluminum hydroxide, which you'll find in your deodorant that you put under your arms. Many of our deodorant products contain aluminum hydroxide, which is still aluminum. Anything that has the word aluminum before one word or after another word, it's the same thing. Okay, remember that. Your detergents, your cleaning supplies, your toilet bowl cleaners, is the various types of household products that have aluminum hydroxide. Remove that stuff and find healthier alternatives. It's really just that simple. Okay, you know I love you. You know it's the new year. Let's start out on a new foot, a new path to health. Okay, this is Brother Teacher. Yahweh loves you in this new year and forever. And you know I do. So long.